this is a view of the potato strip that was prepped to plant potatoes. This was basically a successful test run and I will likely plant two rows of potatoes next year. Hi and welcome to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. It is the beginning of September and I am harvesting most of the potatoes I planted in June. There are still a few potatoes left in the ground. They were planted in mid-July. Therefore I will wait a little longer to harvest them. I will wait a little longer to harvest them just before the first frost, which is around early October for zone 6B in the Northeast. It is easy to see that the potatoes are ready to be harvested because the vines are dried out. These are organic russet and red potatoes that were purchased for the purpose of consumption. However, they started budding before I could eat the remaining 10. Instead of letting the potatoes go to waste, I decided to plant them. I waited too late to purchase seeded potatoes as they had sold out in my area. The difference between seeded potatoes and store-bought is the guarantee of potatoes being certified free of disease. Therefore you take a slight risk when you grow potatoes that you purchase from the grocery store. To reduce the risk of blight building in the soil, it is best to plant your potatoes in a different location and to refrain from plant, replanting potatoes or similar crops such as tomatoes or eggplant in that location for at least four years. With that said, there are some homesteaders who plant potatoes in the same spot year after year. They save potatoes from the previous year to plant in the upcoming season. They pay close attention to amending the soil each year with organic matter. This method has worked for them. I did a no-dig method to plant these potatoes. A mantis tiller was used to rip, rip up the grass and loosen the soil. I then placed these sprouted potatoes on top of the loose soil. Dirt was then mounted on top of the potatoes. I plan on using this same method next year and will capture the process step by step. As you can see, there were some nice sized potatoes. Although I hope to do a better job weeding next year to ensure the potatoes are not competing for soil nutrients and that they have ample room to spread and grow. Digging, digging, digging up potatoes. <laughs> yes. Growing white potatoes was easy. The garden is in the area that gets maximum sun exposure all year. I did nothing special to grow these supermarket potatoes. No fertilizer was added. I am trying to keep the soil healthy uh, without the need to purchase chemical fertilizer. Instead, I'm working to perfect my compost bin by adding chicken scraps, grass clippings, leaves, and chicken poop. The goal is to create a self-sustaining environment as much as possible. And this is the yield we got from sprouting potatoes that would have been discarded by most people. I would guesstimate about 45 pounds of potatoes out of the initial yield, even with the loss of some of the yield to critters. And from what I read, you cannot get a disease from rodents nibbling on the potatoes. 
However, I would rather clean, cook, and feed those pieces that were nibbled to the chickens. This is the seed potato. As you can see, I planted them whole. However, some people choose to cut the potatoes. Cutting seed potatoes increase your yield by allowing more pieces to be planted. If you want to cut the seed potatoes, make sure that there are two or more eyes on each cut and try to keep the pieces a decent size. To prevent disease or rot, allow the cuts to cure or fully heal before planting. And here is a closer look at the potatoes that were damaged by critters. After harvesting the potatoes, I allowed them to cure for storage through the winter. Curing is the process of allowing the potatoes to heal and dry out to prevent rot. As you can see, the soil was dry when the potatoes were harvested. I simply removed the excess dirt with my hands instead of washing the, so uh, washing the potatoes. They then sat in a dark basement on the floor in a single layer for several days. And here is a photo of onions I've already harvested and cured. This is the first year I grew onion bulbs. I normally grow green onions or scallions. In the next video, I'll show you how I canned some of the potatoes I harvested.